Brutus, do you want to say hi to the people? <coughs> you do? Hi guys, it's Misty, and if you're new here, well, my name is Misty, and I am a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and I also own a brick and mortar antique store called Wildflower Antiques in beautiful Bedford, Indiana. This video is a video that I have put off and put off and put off. I don't know why, because I need to get this stuff listed, but a couple weeks ago, I didn't really host. I just kind of mentioned that if there were any Indiana area resellers and they wanted to get together just to kind of meet and go out for lunch and go digging through the bins, that we were going to meet up at the Greenwood, Indiana outlet and then just kind of go from there. It was a very fun day and we are going to do it again very, very soon. The bin pickers were there, so it was great to meet them. The thirsty thrifters were there. It was wonderful to meet them. And the thrifty nickels, there were all kinds of people there that I talked to a lot on social media, on Instagram. And, um, and it was just fun to finally put a name to a face and meet and have fun. And it's fun getting together with like-minded people who like to kind of dig through people's unwanted things and sell them for a profit. That's fun, right? All right, so this is the haul that I got. Now, I did tell Michelle that she was allowed to smack anything out of my hand. If I picked up clothing pieces, she was allowed to just take it out of my hand and put it in her cart. Um, but what I did was I would look through the clothes and I would just give it to them if I found anything that I thought that they might want. Because I'm mainly just looking for hard goods because, again, I'm, I'm done with the clothing game. Other than I am selling shoes, shoes, I'm selling shoes, aka shoes, and purses and handbags and coats and jackets and vintage items, but I'm sticking away, I'm staying away from just the normal everyday clothing. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with this haul because I got a lot of stuff. First thing I'm gonna show you is, now all of this stuff, unless noted otherwise, because I did go to a couple Goodwills um, on my own after I left the bins, but everything that I'm gonna show you at this point is I did pick up from the Greenwood, Indiana outlet. First thing is this, vintage tupperware pie saver pie keeper um, i'm keeping this for myself it, it's just this um what is that um marigold i don't know it's a yellow color it has fingernail polish on it but i will be taking that off it's in great condition other than needing cleaned and i am going to keep this and use it to store pies in especially for the thanksgiving season that's coming up so that will come in very handy all right, the next thing that I got were a couple hats. Now, I did show these to Greg a little bit because, you know, he's the hat guy. But I did pick up this Champions 1997 NFC Eastern Division. I guess that's the New York Giants. It is new with tags from 1997. It is a snapback hat. It's in great condition. There is one little spot right there. But um, I didn't look up comps for these. I didn't really... I did look up comps for some things, but for some things I didn't just because I know with what I was paying for at the bins that I would be able to turn a profit on it just from experience alone. So this hat I picked up and I also got this really cute Disney bucket hat, I guess you could say. It is an adult size from Walt Disney World and it says it's 100 percent cotton one size fits all made in korea it has minnie mouse's signature and pluto and goofy donald duck it's from walt disney world so got that from the bins as well and then i also picked up this little snapback hat now i i think this has some, a little bit of age to it well let me show you what it is i do that all the time i start to talk about this stuff and i don't even show you what it is i'm sorry it is a Manitou and Cogwheel Route Pikes Peak Railway. Pikes Peak. Isn't that Colorado? I think that's Colorado. It's a snapback. It's like a train engineer hat. And it is made in the USA. One size fits most. So that does show a little bit of age to it. Probably from the 90s. So I picked this up at the bins as well. And I think that's all of the hats that I got. But shoes, I think I only got one pair of shoes. The shoes were crazy that day. You could find one really, really good shoe 
and then you could not find the other one. And all of us were having an issue with that. We all had like one shoe in our hand or in our carts and we're searching for the other shoe and we nobody could find it so they, i don't know what was going on that day with the shoes but i did find these lucky brand uh flats they there was a name these are a size 10 and they still have the little size sticker down there on the bottom so they're very very in very good condition i thought somewhere i saw the name oh there it is it, it is the Cahill. So these are the Cahill loafers. So those are the only pair of shoes that I found. Another thing I found was this cute little applause. There's her little tag, Minnie Mouse. Now she needs cleaned. I'm going to clean her face up. She's just a little mini cheerleader. She has a date on her for... No, she doesn't thought she did but she's a Disney sports mini I did look up comps for these in the store and and I looked for Mickey could not find Mickey but if I had the both of them they're selling for about $48 so I'm assuming that mini alone maybe will sell for 15 to 18 dollars um, I am like I said I'm gonna clean her up but I'm thinking she's probably from the 80s or the 90s okay now I also got this and I I don't know. I know, well, let me show you what it is. It is this portfolio from the WNBA, the Indiana Fever, which is the Women's Basketball League. This is autographed by Tamika Catchings. There's her autograph there. And on the inside, the portfolio has never been used. And it has a, a picture of Tamika. There's her picture there. It is also autographed. The glare is a little something. And then this was said is from 2003. It's just a brochure. And then on the inside, there's a letter. It says that this was the Indiana Fever Tamika Catching signed WNBA notebook bobblehead signed Pacers basketball. Value was priceless. And the minimum bid was $25. So this was from some sort of a silent auction. I don't have the bobblehead. I don't have the signed Pacers basketball. I wish I did. But I do have Tamika Catching's autograph on the photo and on the binder. So we'll see. I'll, I'll list it on eBay and with all of the, you know, the accoutrement that goes with it. And we'll see what it what it will bring. It's, it's really cool. It's, this binder kind of feels like a basketball. But it was at the bin. So I thought... It, it was it was worth picking up absolutely all right another thing i found again these were in the bins it does have a goodwill sticker on it goodwill was trying to sell it for 99 cents but i'll pick it up at the bins it's very lightweight these typically will sell for about 15 to 18 dollars and it's the empty nest syndrome brand new it's sealed i always pick those up when i can find them at a good price all right another thing that i got from the bins now this one i probably paid maybe a dollar fifty or so for it it's a little heavy um it is this kitchenaid pasta maker um i looked in the box because i know that sometimes people will once they've used these parts on the kitchenaid mixer they'll they're not something that they keep hooked to their mixer so they'll put them back in the box and put them away this doesn't appear to have ever been used. You can see on the inside here. It still has all of the paperwork down below. Yes, and Brutus is going to bark. He's been outside. He's barked outside. He's inside. He's barking inside. But it has all of the bits and pieces in here. Doesn't seem to have ever been used. These were selling for about $25 to $30 pre-owned on eBay. So I went ahead and picked it up. If it doesn't sell, I might just keep it and make pasta because I have a KitchenAid mixer. So KitchenAid mixer in the box from the bins. Okay. The next thing I got is this, and this is something that I probably will take to my antique store and sell is macrame. This is a macrame 
plant holder. So you pot holder, you put your pot in here and, and it hangs from the ceiling from this hook. If you are a, a person from the seventies, like myself, you remember these, these were a big deal back in the seventies and eighties. Uh, and I always find these at the bins. It seems like, I don't know why. So this will go to the shop and I will sell it there. All right. The next thing I got, and I got several of these, and I will use these in my antique store for decoration at St. Patrick's Day. But there are these flag bears. So there is a... Brutus, do you want to say hi to the people? You do? Come here. Okay. So this is Brutus. Say hello, Brutus. Look, there's your people. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to be on camera. He just wants to bark and bark and bark. Don't you, buddy? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Okay, let's go outside. Okay, Brutus is outside and he's way back there. So you shouldn't be able to hear him, but you never know. Okay, so the next thing that I got from the bins were tons of these felt St. Patrick's Day banners. Now I will use these in the shop for St. Patrick's Day around that time to decorate. So I got two flag banners, um, these little felt confetti pieces that I'll use, um, a letter banner that says St. Patrick's Day, and just felt jointed garland of these um, four leaf clovers. That's what they are. These were just probably something sold in a party supply place. Uh, so I got them to use at the shop. Okay. Oh, I also got these Valentine's Day picks that I will use in the shop as well. So those were all from the bins. All right, this next thing, I think this is cool. And actually, I just listed this. I did get into some of these things and I cleaned some of them and I listed some of them, but I needed to do this haul video so I can get the rest of it listed because it's been sitting in my kitchen for a long time. But I got excited when I found these because this just brought me back to, mem to memories of being a child in the 80s. And they are these McDonald's cups. Now, do you all remember the wax cups? These were amazing. They don't make these anymore. The wax cups. And they wouldn't sweat and they just felt good in the, oh, I don't know. But I got a whole stack of them. So I got a whole stack. Now, a few of them, I had to, when I took pictures of them, it was a little bit of work to get them all apart because they were a little stuck together. But some of them, I think the, like the last four got a little, well, they got a little damaged. So I did note that in the listing. 24, there are 24 of these wax McDonald's cups. And on the bottom here, it says 86 Mc McDonald's Corporation. They're on the writing on the bottom. So I think these are amazing. And people do collect these. They do collect these. I am selling them as a lot. I'm not selling them individually, but um, I thought these were fun. So I, I, this is the kind of stuff that I like to find. This odd and obscure things. Where else are you going to find these McDonald's cups? At the bins. That's where. I'm. So luckily somebody had enough mindset to save them. The next thing I got was this Rubik's Cube because whenever I'm at Goodwill and, they, and I see these for 99 cents, typically, or 50 cents, or I'm at a yard sale, um, or I'm at the bins, I do pick these up just as a little treat to my husband because he's Mr. Smarty Pants and he can solve one of these in the evening. He's already solved one side of it and, and I made him throw it back because I said I need that for my haul video. You're not supposed to solve it yet. This is just something for him. I'll throw it in his chair. He can play with it later now that I'm doing this haul. Okay, the next couple of things that I got, um, this little thing was in, she was in her entirety in the bin and I yanked her out because I just wanted her head. So Michelle was laughing at me a little bit because I was trying to yank the head off of this doll and I did. So here's her head. She wasn't a great doll. She had a horrible body. She didn't have porcelain hands or feet. She was just a cheaply made porcelain doll, but I just wanted her head and I'm going to pop her eyes out and I'm going to make a nightlight out of this head. 
So you can see I can get her eyes out. Isn't that creepy? I like creepy things, but I'm going to pop her eyes out. I'm going to pop them out. I'm Oh, I just popped one out. That was satisfying. Let me pop the other one out if I can. I'm popping out her eye. Well, I could only pop one eye out, but you see what I mean. See, doesn't she look much better without her other eye. Another thing that I found, now I love McCoy pottery. I collect McCoy pottery. I have an obsession for McCoy pottery a little bit, and I was surprised that I found this at the bins intact. This is a McCoy basket weave pot. You can see on the bottom, it's marked McCoy USA in this beautiful green color. There are no chips, cracks, damage to this at all. How this survived the bins, I don't know. It, it must have been meant for me to find it, but um, I love these because it does have the little built-in tray. You know, it's been used. There's dirt in there, but I'm going to put dirt in it anyway, and I'm going to use it at my house. So this is staying with me. I love it. The bins, it's a little bit heavy. Probably paid maybe two, maybe $1.50, $2 for this, but it was worth every penny. I love it. Another piece that I picked up at the bins, which surprised me that it didn't get completely demolished, was this beautiful Ransburg bowl. It's a Ransburg is a form of pottery. All of these flowers are uh, hand painted on there. It's beautiful. They do a lot of bowls and cookie jars and salt and pepper shakers. I love this stuff. I love the colors on it. I think I'm going to be keeping this. The, sell, the marketability value for this would be, they go for about $15 to $20 plus shipping on eBay. This one does have an itty bitty, let me find it. You have to kind of look for it. It's hard to find. It has a small little hairline crack right there. It's very hard to tell, but I love this. Goodwill at one time tried selling it for $4.99 but it ended up at the bins. Another little thing, I like to like dig through and look for just the little bits of pieces that are in the bins. Um, I typically wait till the dust settles. I don't like getting in there where the getting's good, I guess, when they, when they say go and everybody's just, it's a mad dash to get everything from the bins. I typically like to just stick back and wait until the dust settles a little bit and then I dig through all of the little bits and pieces of things. And this is one of the things that I found. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the lid, but there are this, these vintage birthday candles. It might be kind of glary to see, but there are these pink little smokeless birthday candles, smokeless and dripless. They are from Colonial Candles. At one time, they were 35 cents. I love the packaging on these. Another thing that I got in the little odds and ends that you find just left over in the bottom of the bin is this cute little sand timer. I like these things. I don't know why, but I do. Um, this one has like a green sand in it, but on the top of it, it says something in German, I think. So if you understand what that says, and leave it in the comments. It's something German. I also got this cute little Halloween votive candle holder. This is made in Taiwan, so it is vintage, and it has the black cats on it. This I got, I'm going to keep this, but I, I, I'm going to wash it, obviously, but it's not old, but I thought this, that's kind of a neat thing, but you know how you have, I don't as much anymore now that my kids are older, but you have all those little plastic medicine um, dose dispensers. You you probably have a drawer full of them, but I liked this one because it's glass. It's made by Anchor Hawking and it has just, you know, teaspoon, ounces, and tablespoon measurements on it. So I thought, I'm going to throw away all those plastic ones and I'll just use this class one. You can find all kinds of treasures at the bins if you dig, like this. This is very dirty, so I'm going to be bleaching this to death. But this little miniature Tupperware bowl, these are great to keep in your purse to keep Tylenol in or motion sickness medicine or, you know, any kind of um, antacids or anything. Cute little Tupperware bowl. I saved it from the landfill and I found me a broken 
Nutcracker because I like it. He doesn't have his hat or part of his head, but I like the broken ones. I have a whole slew. I have an old whole army of broken Nutcrackers that are going to be displayed very, very soon. But I got a new guy to add to my collection. Now, these aren't worth anything, but I like them. And and I got this, too. I actually picked this up for a friend of mine, for her son, who loves poems and poetry. And I just thought it... And he also likes little miniature things, too. So it kind of checks in all the boxes. And it is the complete novels in one set setting of the Brontes. Look at the cute little book. So on the inside... It's just, it's, I love it. So I think that he will like it too. Okay, and another thing that I have here that I will be selling this in the shop is just a little stoneware bowl. with. This is a salt glaze. You, I don't know if it's picking it up or not, but you can kind of see there's like little bumps in here. That is the salt. They, they use the salt glaze. That's where it gets the name from. So I can see on the bottom too how it's a little bumpy there too. Um, This has a little sugar there but um i will sell this at the shop for about 15 uh, probably 12 to 15 dollars this was one of the first things that i found i don't know i need to clean it up as with everything else is looney tunes coffee mug and it's got grandma it wasn't she tweety bird's owner i think so there's her face i don't know if there's a date on it goodwill tried selling for 69 cents it's made in china i don't know it's it may not be worth anything but I probably paid a quarter for it at the bin. So I thought I would give it a try. This, oh gosh, this is another one of my weaknesses. Is my husband just shakes his head and just doesn't understand. But I love these. Leave me a comment if you as well love these vintage uh, towels and washcloths. I don't necessarily like the bath towels because they're small. I love the washcloths, the dishcloths, and the dish towels. There is nothing like a vintage dish towel. It absorbs well. They wash up so nice. This one, you know, has seen better days. It's a little trashy, but I'm going to bleach it. Well, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to sanitize it. And um, I will use it as a dust cloth. I love these. I love these. They don't make things like they used to. I don't know what is different about it. They're just made. They're just nice. They're just nice. I like them. All right, I did pick up some package toppers um, while I was there. You know, again, all the little bits and pieces that you find at the end of the bin after everyone's, like, went through it like a madhouse. This is a little score pad, and all the pages are out of it, but, and it's made by a Hallmark, but I just think it, that it's cute. It's got Snoopy on it, so I thought I could use it as a package topper. And by package topper, I put, when I do my packages, I'll put little items like these um, and I'll put my business card and, and put, just kind of take, you know, put it in underneath the ribbon that I use. I am going to do a video, a shipping video very, very soon, but I was able to salvage a few. These are just the playing cards that went with that score kit or score pad but I could only grab a couple, but I did get a lot of these. These are from Disney charades and they're just Disney characters. Like there's Hercules and sleeping beauty, um, and snow white. So I just thought that these would be on oh, there's flounder. It's just cute to use as package toppers. So I just grabbed what I could. All right, these little these little goodies, I was so excited to find. Now, again, this was like in the last little bits. Like everyone else was digging through all the stuff and I'm like digging in the little things that's left. And I found some gems, well, what I think are gems anyway. But I found some of these vintage Christmas ornaments. Now, this has a Target sticker on it. So, but it's dated 1986. It's a little Christmas seal. And there's another little Christmas seal. It's going to be hard, hard to see him in the plastic. You can see there. They're all dated 1986. This one was from Frank's. It's not, it doesn't have a date on it, but it's, um, it is vintage. It's a little angel with little rain boots on and a little rain hat holding the paper. Let's see, Frank's, it was 89 cents. 
Oh, here's another seal. There's another seal. I just grabbed what I could. Little seal there. And then I got these little girls. I mean, let me let me fix her wings before she makes it on camera. This little girl, little vintage Christmas ornament. With her little foil wings. And this little homemade with a little rickrack horse. This little mouse. Very 1980s. And this little, oh, I love this one. Oh, I love this one. This little homemade stocking, but look, it's got little toes. It's little toe sock stockings. Oh, that was very cute. And then, <laughs> but I'm keeping these, some of these, by the way, the stocking I'm keeping and this guy I'm keeping because I love Santa's. And he's just a little, little pipe cleaner Santa with a styrofoam head and he's got sequined eyes. Isn't he great? Oh, yeah, I just love this stuff. And this little bird, a little blue bird wooden ornament, I thought was cute. And a cookie cutter. And do you guys remember these? This is made in Korea. Do you remember these? These little guys that you squeeze and like you can wear them on your shirt. He's like a little koala bear and he says, I love you. So I saved him. What I'm gonna do with him, I don't know, but I saved him from going in the landfill. And then these guys, and I haven't looked up comps for these, but I remember these. You're gonna remember these too, I'll bet. But they're in their little sleeping bags. So I got, I grabbed their sleeping bags. I'll take them out of their bags. But they're these little, I don't know who they're even made by. Let me look and see. Hasbro. These little glow worm guys. Do you remember these? I remember these. I don't know what they're called. Leave me a comment if you remember these. These little glow worm guys. And they have their little sleeping bags. So I saved them. And then, this is dated 1983, but it's My Little Pony. And on the inside, it's got another My Little Pony card and a mirror. It's just a little purple My Little Pony vintage mirror. Then I'm gonna send these to a friend of mine. I don't know if I wanna show these. I'm not gonna show all of them, but let's just say, let's just say, and you're getting a bunch of vintage stickers. I'm not gonna show what they are. But Anna Eckhart collects these vintage stickers. And there are some good ones in here. I'm not going to show them, but maybe I'll show one. I'll show one because I want her to be surprised. And, and she watches these. And so let me, let me just find one. Let me find one. Let me just show this one. Who's this one made by? Yeah, Lisa Frank. So I got some good ones. Those are going to be sent to my pal, Ann Eckhart, because I know that she loves them and she'll appreciate them and she will um, give them a good home. So I don't want to show all of them, but I got all those at the bins. All right. The next thing that I got was this. It's in the box. A little Joseph's Original Angel. It still has the styrofoam in here and her little hang tag, but she is the number girl move your tag out of the way she is the number six birthday angel you see there she still has her little hang tag no flaws on her at all she has her sticker on the bottom and she comes in her original box i did get some books and i don't i want to say they charge i could i could be wrong 50 cents for a hardback book and a quarter for a paperback i don't remember but I did get these. I do like to use them as display in the shop. And these just kind of, I, I was going, I had a green, a green theme in mind. These books, I just love to look through because they're just they're like vintage smut books. This one is The Pam Pampered Women, a suburb of attractive, restless women rife for the suave charm of a man whose specialty was seduction. 
This was written by Jason Swiven. Unhappy women bored with their husbands, seeking new love and excitement. Smut. This was smut. Let me see what the copyright was on this. Copyright 1965. So I love to look through these. Look at that. That was very racy for the day. So I got that. This one is The Complete Poetic Works of James Whitcomb Riley. Here's the thing, too. You always want to look through books because you can find things in books like money. People hide people hide money in books. I have... Oh, see? I found something. Not money, but what were they hiding in this book? Famous Birthdays. This was 1957. Famous Birthdays. This was in this book. Who is there's, um Oh, James Whitcomb Riley. Oh, here's some more. See, it's kind of fun to find these books and then just look and see. These are more just newspaper articles about James Whitcomb Riley. The last copyright date is 1932. So it's got James Whitcomb Riley embossed. So I got that book and I got Making Music Your Own. This is like a music textbook. Look at the pictures on here. Aren't those cool? Look at that cow and that pig. Probably from the 60s, 70s. And then I got this one is Look Up, Lift Up. This is like, I want to say it's a hymn, hymnal. Um, it's not in the best shape. They're just mainly, they're not, it's not a hymnal. It's um, little poems and stuff that are of a religious aspect. The pictures were beautiful in here. Let me just show you. Son of my soul. You see the pictures in here? They're beautiful. And at one time, this, well, I guess it's still kind of there. It is gold, has a gold foil on the pages. So I haven't looked up comps for this, but I don't know. But the book alone is a pretty book to use as display. So that's kind of the reason why I got it. You know, you can stack up books like this and then use them as a display. Okay, we're still going with things that I found from the bin. And I want to say that my receipt, I think I spent $36 or so on everything that I'm showing you. But I did get this little, da I got a damn elf. I got a damn elf at the bins. Well, I can say that because that's the maker. It's damn. That's who made these. This was dated 1986. Um, he's supposed to have a hat and I think something else in his hand. He doesn't have any of those things. And he's a little grubby. His little outfit is a little grubby. But they sell for about $12 to $15 or so online. They are highly collectible. Especially if, you, if they have all of the parts and pieces. Okay, I picked these up because I have heard of other resellers selling these fairly well. And... They are these curtain rod hooks. I know that Karen at Lavender Clothesline has sold these very readily on, on her in her eBay store, but they all have the hooks. And I don't know if these are super vintage, but I mean, I thought I'd give them a try. We'll see. It was easy enough to grab. This is another thing that I'm surprised didn't get completely demolished, but it's this vintage, I mean, it's in a little rough shape, vintage lampshade with this rooster on it. Now, I have a lot of lamps at the shop that I can use this on to maybe upsell the lamp. I have a lamp, a couple lamps that aren't that great, but if I put the shade on it, it, it really gussies up the lamp and then I can upsell the lamp a little bit. So, and it has this little clip on here, so it clips on the light bulb. A lot of people like roosters, so I thought that was a good pickup. I also got this little gold frame. My daughter is really into doing things, this gold accents. So I got that for her. And this little is also for her to hang in her apartment just to keep mail in. This was another little thing that I just pulled out of the end of the bins. I don't know why, but it's a little kitty cat with a little button nose. Isn't he cute? I don't know. I just thought he was cute. And we saved him. I also got... Now, this just intrigued me. 
<clears throat> it is not, I haven't looked it up yet, but it is this little cute little Christmas linen um, handkerchief. But what I liked about it is it still had the tag on it there. And it had, it came in its little box here and it has all these little vintage Christmas stickers on it. That's what I really like. Look at the Santa and the snowman and the candy canes. So it was just laying in the bins like this, like that. It was just flat and then I opened it up and saw the linen on the inside. It was bought from Bacon's I'm not sure. I've not ever heard of that store. And it is made by Desco. Made in Switzerland. That is what I got. That was what I got from my fun reseller meetup with the bin pickers and the thirsty thrifters. I will link their YouTube channels below so you make sure that you check them out and subscribe and watch their videos. They're a lot of fun. And we're going to be doing this again very, very soon. We kind of talked about going down to the new bins in um, Southern Indiana. So we'll see how that goes. But I hope that you enjoyed this haul. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And I hope that you're subscribed to my channel and hit the little bell notification. And you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And with that, I will go ahead and say goodbye.